My reading is in John chapter 4, and I would like to read starting uh, verse 1. <clears throat> John chapter 4 and verse 1. And it says, When there, therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made baptized more disciples than John. Verse 2, Though Jesus himself baptized not, but his disciple, he left Judea, and depart again to Galilee, into Galilee. And he must need to go through Samaria. Then came, uh, cometh he to a city, a, Samar a Samaritan, which is called a Suhar, near to the, um, the pearl of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Joseph's wall there was there. Uh, Jesus, therefore, being wearied in, with his journey, sat thus on the well. And it was about the sixth hour, there cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus says unto her, Give me to drink. For disciples were gone away into the city to buy meat. Notice your friend, uh, verse uh, 9. Then says the woman of Samaria unto Jesus, How is it thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me? Which I am a woman of Samaria, for the Jews have no dealing with Samaritan. Jesus answered and says unto her, if thou knowest the gift of God, and who is it says to thee, give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, he would give you a give, uh, um, giving you giving thee a living water. The woman says unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, uh, water uh, draw with, and the well is deep. How hence that thou have the living water? Art thou the greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drink thereof himself and his children and the cattle? And Jesus answered and says unto her, Whosoever drink of this water shall thirst again, but whosoever drink of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, and the water that I, I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing into the everlasting life. And may God promise to bless us his work to us, dear friends. It's a beautiful story. It tells us about the Lord Jesus and his loving heart. And my message is very simple, that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you, dear friend. See, there was a woman. And if we continue reading the story, you will find out the woman was married five times. And the sixth man... He was her boyfriend. She was tired of getting married, so she decided to have a boyfriend. Of course, in the Middle East, uh, it's very difficult to have one wife. Imagine five wives and divorce, and then uh, the, the sixth one is a boyfriend. This woman, is, it's, her life was a mess. Her life would be a mess. No one would even dare to look at her. Maybe her, her family, maybe her Everyone will despise her. Everyone will hate her. And one day she decided to go to bring water. You see, at that time in Middle East, and I believe it was at 12 o'clock in the noon, and it was very hot, hot day, and she went to bring water. And while she was going to the well, she saw a man sitting at the well. And the man approached her. He says, woman, can I have a drink of water? Imagine someone comes to you and says to you, can I have a drink of water? I mean, of course, out of generosity, generosity, you will tell him, for sure, why not? But this woman says, excuse me, you want a water of me? I'm a woman, I'm Samaria, and you're a Jew. You cannot ask me this. And Jesus says, if you know who I am, you would ask water of me. And she would, she would, she would ask the Lord Jesus a lot of questions. But my message is this, dear friend. Jesus went all the way, all the way from Galilee to meet that woman. All the way he went just to meet that woman. And I want to tell you this, dear friend. If you are the only person in this planet, Jesus would come and would die just for you. That much Jesus loves you, dear friend. That much you are precious to God, dear friend. You are so precious to God. God loves you so much in a way that Jesus came all the way, not from Galilee, but he came from heaven. And he came all the way to our earth. You know why? 
because he loves you. Jesus, dear friend, loves you so much that he went all the way to the cross. He was not a sinner. He is sinless. He, Jesus Christ, without sin, he could not sin. But me and you, dear friend, we sin a lot. Every day in our life, we are sinners. In God's eyes, we are dead. But Lord Jesus went to the cross, and he went for that lady, and he went for me, and he went for you. But you will never benefit anything from it unless you come to acknowledge the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. This woman, when she and knew who Jesus was, when she was satisfied. You see, no one, dear friend, can satisfy your heart but Jesus. You know why? Buddha can satisfy your heart. Muhammad can satisfy your heart. Any religion can satisfy your heart. Your hard work can satisfy your heart. Jesus alone, dear friend. Jesus alone can satisfy your heart. You know why? Because he's God. He says, if you don't believe that I am he, you will die in your sin. What does that mean? I am he. He's saying, if you don't believe that I am Yahuwah, I am God, you will die. Jesus, he is the one who created you. And he is the one who came and became a man and went to the cross just for you, dear friend. So you might have eternal life. You see, this woman went happily. And after she, she met the Lord Jesus, she was happy, she was satisfied. You know what she did the first thing? She went and told everyone, come, come and see a man. Told me everything that I have done. That's what happened to me, dear friend. When Jesus Christ came to my heart, I went and told everyone, come and see what Jesus did in my heart. And that will happen to you, dear friend. When you come, acknowledge Jesus as your personal Savior. You know what? You'll be the happiest person on the planet. I'm not saying you, all your problems will be gone. I'm not saying you'll be rich, like some would teach, that once you believe in Jesus, you'll be rich and happy and all these things. That's not true. But you will be satisfied in your heart. There will be peace in your heart, dear friend. Jesus says, my peace I'll give you. You see, my peace. Now we are going through difficult times. Now the world is struggling. They want an answer. They want a solution. But Jesus says, I have the answer. I can give you peace. If you acknowledge me as your God, you'll have peace. Jesus alone, dear friend, can give you peace. You know why? Because he's a king of peace. One day, you see, maybe, maybe all the president, maybe the president of the United States trying to make a peace. But you know what? His peace is temporarily. But when Jesus comes as a king, there will be a real peace. There will be a real peace, dear friend. We know the, the, the world will go through tribulation. But the church will be taken away, will be raptured. If you're not part of the church, dear friend, if you're not saved, you will be left behind. You will be left behind. And you know what? When Jesus comes, the church will come with him. We're going to come to this earth again. Jesus was crucified in this earth, and he will reign on this earth. And dear friend, I want to remind you this, that you need Jesus in your life. He is alone can give you a peace. May God help you. Thank you so much.